Hey, hello, this is Klaus Kolkin, and I'm going to show you that my uh, 3D test inserting a real life image, or any kind of image, it doesn't matter, on Sony Cinema 4D. So let's get started. Okay, first go to click on this four arrows with a little light in the middle, clean, hold it, and set the background. Click, double click on this toolbar right here. Then double click on there and select texture and this little arrow right here. Where it says low image, click on there. Select the image you want. Click yes. And we should have it like that. Close this thing. And then click there. It should look just to see. A pretty awesome image as a background. Yeah, I see. So now or really all we are gonna do is to make a test. Select mode graph, test object, and raise this thing up. Put any any angle you want to turn the object to. I'm gonna put it like there. Let's see. That's pretty good. Now I'm gonna put a title of the object. So it doesn't matter what it is. I'm gonna put test. The farther we push it, it look it look like it's pushing it through a highway. I just gonna leave it all a little folder like there, and then we're gonna click on here, rest this plane, and raise this thing there. Up, up, I say. <laughs> then rotate it a little bit. Okay, and just should put this bigger. Let's increase a little bit. Bam! Bam! Yeah, we have big. Okay, so now you should select the light and it's up. Okay. This light. Okay. Just leave it like that and put general shadow shadow map soft. Click on there. You should have a, sh a little bit of shadow. You see, it's constraining because we see the plane not raised. Now it's good. Perfect. Now we're gonna look for light. Maybe a little bit like that. Wait for the slice so you can see what it looks like. Shim. Okay. There. Click on there. You should see the thing. It looks pretty good. Now we're gonna. Click, control, click on this image and put it right on where it's playing. It should look kind of crappy, but then we go to Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing, and go where it says Tag, Compositing Background. Click on it. Ta da! We have the three test. <laughs> So you see, you can put it on any color you like. I'm gonna put it on pink. I'm just kidding. Oh, maybe I'm not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just gonna include it to there. Okay. You see, it looks like that. It's gonna be a little glass if it's more noticeable. So, yeah, that's how you include a test on a 3D image. Did I just say 3D image? Sorry, a 3D test on the image. So, hope you like it, and have a great day, and I'll see you next time.